The overall goal of this procedure is to prepare fresh slices of zebrafish retinas for experiments that require live imaging of fluorescent proteins or biosensors. This method can help answer key questions in the field of vision research, such as the physiological and metabolic roles of calcium ions in specific cell types and cellular compartments within a retina. The main advantage of this technique is that it provides spatial and temporal information about key metabolites and signaling molecules in live tissues. To make it possible to remove the retinal pigment epithelium, or RPE, from the zebrafish, dark adapt the fish for one hour prior to making tissue slices. For a slicing chamber, paint lines of nail polish onto a slide. Using clear nail polish, paint narrow lines to create a rectangle. Repaint the polish once when dry. If the chamber will be used for static imaging or injection experiments with minimal solution flow, then use a syringe to apply two parallel strips of petroleum jelly to a cover slip, 1 cm long and 0.5 cm apart. Now prepare the blades. First, clean a double-edged razor with ethanol and allow it to air dry. Then use scissors to cut it into approximately one centimeter pieces. Next, place the slicing chamber on the stage of the tissue slicer, center it horizontally on the stage, and mark the long edge with permanent marker for alignment. Then, load a piece of blade onto the slicer arm. Secure the blade so the edge is...